In this short video, I will show you how to make a DIY body spray with Polystubi 20. In my previous video, I showed you how to make DIY room spray with Polystubi 20. But for this video, we're going to make DIY body spray with Polystubi 20. So let's jump right in. So the first thing you want to do as usual, I know you are, you are following this series. It's going to really boost your formulation career. It's just this simple, okay? Um, you, most of you be thinking, okay, can I say this to the public? This is for DIY only. I cannot guarantee anything, so I will not tell you, oh, sell it to the public or don't sell it to the public. Just know that before you start selling it to the public, make sure you learn the art of cosmetic formulation so you don't get yourself into a big mess. Okay, let's get started. The first thing you want to do when you want to make a body spray with Polysobe 20 is to know the type of essential oil you want to use okay then you need to know the kind of extract you want to use so for this video we're going to use citrulline and lina essential oil we're going to use our DIY mango fruit extract if you have not seen that video look in the description box below for a link to that video this is an anti-aging extract that we made from powder but we follow some specialized pr procedure to get the best out of it so we're going to use that then we're going to use very good emectant vegetable glycerin okay 99.7 you know grade a usp grade by pure blend naturals then as usual we're going to use our preservative ilk cell pe 9010 by pure blend natural and um, that's about it we're going to introduce distilled water so let's jump right in no waste of time here right so measure 0 0.5 gram of your distilled water we are making 100 gram of this 0.5 gram of your distilled water to that you're going to add the same amount of your polysorbate 20 so 0.5 gram of polysorbate 20 mix both together So now we're going to add our preservative. We're using Hexel PE 9010 by Pure Blend Natural. So we're going to add one gram of preservative to that. Mix it well. To that we're going to add 93 gram of distilled water okay 93 gram of distilled water 93 gram of distilled water mix it well So now we're going to add our uh, glycerin, vegetable glycerin, a uh, three gram, three gram of vegetable glycerin. Mix it well after each addition. So now we're going to add our DIY mango fruit extract. You can use any extract of your choice depending on your skin type. You can use chamomile, calendula extract, depending on your skin type. We are going to add the extract at two gram. See the description box below for a video where I showed you how to make this extract. Two gram of mango fruit extract. Mix it well. now because you are making a product for the skin you want to make sure this product product is compatible with that of your skin so you want to make sure you test the ph okay test the ph 
and adjust the pH to that of the skin. Okay, the compatible pH for the skin is between 5 and 5.5. So if this is going to be your body spray, this is what you're going to uh, put in your body. Make sure you check the pH and adjust it accordingly. Look in the description box below for a video where I showed you how to reduce or bump up or tone down the level of your pH, okay? I've done several videos on pH adjustment on this channel, so you want to make sure you check those videos out. That will be very that will be very helpful. Um, after checking the pH, you know it's perfect for the skin. All you have to do now is just bottle in the spray bottle, okay? Put it in a in the spray bottle. Put it in a spray bottle and enjoy it. If you look closely at this, uh, we don't have much. It's not that milky, unlike the previous one we made. Okay, you can see it's not that milky. Why? Because we only use 0.5% of polysorbate 20 in this uh, project, right? So that's the difference. We use 0.5%. Like I always tell you, when you're working with polysorbate 20 or other polysorbate for that matter, less is better, okay? Make sure you go for less. Less amount is better. See, this is not milky, is it? No, it's not. Because we only use it as 0.5 gram for 100 gram body spray. So that's how it works. So thanks for joining me today. In my next video, I'm going to show you how to make your another very powerful DIY extract until then stay tuned and don't forget to click the subscribe button and the notification icon to be notified of my next video happy formulating